Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to learn how to use the test for blocks. Blocks command. That's with an S. So before we do that, let's do some shout outs. We've got an anonymous ferret. I love that name. That's amazing. Mackie. Dotted squace. I think that's... I don't know if that's L-O-L-O, -L -O, like L-O-L-O-L-O -L -O -L -O or something. Uh, an Adri 6. So thank you for your comments. Let's go on with this command. So, in this command block we've got test for blocks and all these coordinates, which I'll show you now. So we're testing this whole area. And the last bit I have set to all now. And inside, it says 27 blocks compared. So when we break some of these, nothing changes. But when you change it to masked, it doesn't count the air blocks. So now 22. And we can fill this up with like a mixture of things. It's back to 27 blocks. And now 25, because we broke two. So now that we've got our area marked out, you want to find the coordinates. So you want to start on the opposite side of the northwest corner. So northwest is that way. This is the northwest corner. So we want to work opposite to that over here. So I'm going to do minus 84, 67, 266. And then we want it to be three blocks high. I'm going to do it two because our leg area is where the coordinates are counted from. So up here we've got minus 86, 69, 264. So those are the first two coordinates on there, this, those three pairs. And the last one is the destination. So the destination has to be on the northwest corner at the lowest coordinate. So that would be here. And that is minus 86, 67, 264. So if you look in here, you can see I've used all of those coordinates that we've just put down. So a use I've come up for for this is using chests. So in here we have test for blocks, minus 88, 67, 256. And we've done that twice because we're testing for this chest right here. And the second or last number, minus 87, 67, 258, is this one here. And in order to make this activate, we have to put a rabbit's foot in this chest. And it has to be in the exact same spot and the exact same number. So if I just stuck it there, it's not gonna activate. And if I stuck two in the right space, it's still not going to activate. So when it's just one, it finally activates this door. Now, obviously you could have it activate in anything, but that's just one use for this command. And I'm sure there's much more, but I'm just not aware of them because I don't really use this command that often. But hopefully I've explained that well enough to you. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and share it with your friends and have a great day as well because times are tough right now and I'll see you next time. Bye!